A pharmacist who ignored a red light and struck a 10-year-old girl with his vehicle before fleeing the scene has been spared imprisonment. Farhan Masaji, aged 26, drove through the red light at high speed and collided with Layla Shepard on October 16, 2021, at approximately 6.50 p.m. After the accident, Masaji continued driving but later abandoned his car and returned home. He presented himself at a police station the following day. The incident occurred outside a row of shops in Dean near Bolton, Greater Manchester. Layla suffered severe injuries, including a fractured cheekbone, a broken nose, and significant damage to her leg that required surgery due to the impact. The prosecutor, Anna Bond, informed Bolton Crown Court that Layla was riding her bicycle along Wigan Road toward a pedestrian crossing when the collision occurred. According to Mr. Downey, who had just come out of a nearby chip shop and was standing at the traffic lights on the opposite side of the crossing, he witnessed Masaji's car running the red light and colliding with Layla on her bike. Layla struck the car's windshield, flew through the air, and landed a short distance away. Rather than stopping, Masaji continued driving and abandoned his car shortly afterward. The police later discovered that the car had no license plate. Despite Layla not having bike lights or high visibility clothing, the area was well lit due to street lighting, and the incident occurred near a row of shops. Layla expressed her overwhelming feelings about the incident in a statement to the court. She mentioned experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, ongoing sleepless nights due to flashbacks, and her reluctance to ride a bike since the accident. Masaji, residing in Evesham Close, Bolton, had no prior convictions or penalty points on his driving license. However, he had previously received a caution for cannabis possession in 2022. In his defense, Peter Malone emphasized Masaji's deep remorse and regret for his actions. Malone stated that Masaji failed to see Layla while driving and panicked after the collision, leading him to flee the scene and return home, where he and his father subsequently contacted the police. Since the incident, Masaji has refrained from driving and relies on public transportation to commute to the pharmacy where he works. He has been employed by the pharmacy in Bolton since the age of 16, demonstrating a positive work record. Masaji conveyed his sincere apologies to Layla and her family, hoping for their forgiveness. Although Masaji could have faced a maximum sentence of two years in prison for admitting to causing serious injury by careless driving and failing to stop after an accident, he received a 12-month community order instead. Additionally, he was ordered to compensate Layla with £900, pay a fine of £400, and cover £300 in costs. He received a one-year driving ban and was required to complete 200 hours of community service. Judge Elliot Knopf, while delivering the sentence, acknowledged Masaji's apparent genuine remorse for his disgraceful behavior of fleeing the scene. The judge accepted that Masaji is a hard-working individual with a nine-year history of positive contributions, including praise for his abilities and integrity. Do you believe it's fair, the way in which the authorities concluded this case? Or should Farhan have been sentenced to time in prison? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Sincere sympathies and condolences to the victim, as well as loved ones in this case. We pray you are granted the care and patience you so well deserve. And until next time, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.